Understanding the phrase, angel-faced, a guide to English idioms. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, angel-faced. This phrase is not only picturesque but also rich in meaning. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it means, how to use it, and its place in English language expression. So, let's get started. The phrase, angel-faced, is an idiom used to describe someone who has a very innocent, sweet, or beautiful appearance. The word, angel, here is key, as it conjures images of purity and goodness. When we say someone is, angel-faced, we're essentially saying they have a face that resembles an angel, which is often associated with beauty and innocence. Understanding how to use angel-faced in a sentence is crucial. This phrase can be used both literally and metaphorically. Literally, when used literally, it describes someone's physical appearance. For example, the angel-faced child smiled sweetly at her teacher. Metaphorically, the phrase can also be used metaphorically to suggest that someone, despite their innocent appearance, might not be as innocent or good as they seem. For instance, despite his angel-faced demeanor, he was known for his mischievous pranks. English is rich with similar idioms and phrases. Understanding these can help you expand your vocabulary. Baby-faced is a similar term, which refers to someone who looks younger than their age. Innocent-looking is another term that conveys a similar meaning, focusing more on the innocent aspect than the beauty implied in angel-faced. Angel-faced is often used in literature and movies to describe characters with an innocent or beautiful appearance. This usage helps create a visual image or suggest certain character traits. Be aware, though, that in everyday conversation, the phrase might not be as commonly used as more straightforward descriptions. Angel-faced is a picturesque phrase that beautifully conveys innocence and beauty. It's a great example of how English can use imagery to describe people. We hope this video has helped you understand and appreciate this phrase better. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be using English idioms like a native speaker. Until our next video, keep learning and stay curious.